got to take God a little more serious than you are right now. I think most of you people just don't take God serious. You don't care that, that, that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. Sin, 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 sin. It was pretty crazy. What made it crazy? Family, friends, you know, same old, same old. You do anything out the ordinary? I mean, I went to church. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you went to church? Yeah. Quit lying. Nah, for real. Somebody put a gun to your head or? Basically. Who? My grandma. She a thug. <laughs> You wanna hear how it went? I'm not gonna even lie to you. Church is funny for all the wrong reasons. And I'm not talking about the Catholic Church, the Kojic Church, or even that Joe Osteen shit that you see on TV. I'm talking about my church. The first Ebenezer, Malachi, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, Emmanuel, go tell it on the mountain, Third Street Baptist Church. When I got too old for my parents to kind of force me to go to church, I hadn't been in a while. Especially since the last time I went, Pastor Boykin sprayed the entire congregation with a spray bottle while the choir was singing Rain Down on Me for the 10th time. But I digress. Once I got back home from school for winter break, it was my grandma's mission for me to spend at least one of my Sundays in the pew of the church I was baptized in. She didn't care if my sister went or if my brother went. She just wanted me to go. I think, it, I think it was her way of telling me that she was like worried about me. So she called me one Saturday and told me to be ready for church tomorrow. I pleaded with her and told her that I was gonna be too tired to get up in the morning, but she wasn't budging, so I just gave in. Sunday came and I put on my Sunday's best, you know, a cool little hoodie, some jeans, Jordan 11s, you know. I thought this was going to be cool considering the fact that the Lord tells you to come as you are, but nope. As soon as I came downstairs to my grandma waiting on me in the living room, she sent me right back up, talking about, boy, what are you wearing? Put on something nicer. And I asked her why, and she went, every time you go to church, it's like you're presenting yourself to the Lord. So why wouldn't you want to look as nice as you possibly can? I sighed, put on a dress shirt, khakis, dress shoes. Riddle me this, my nigga. Since when did the Lord care about earthly things like suits and ties and big elaborate ass make your head hurt if you look at them for too long ass hats? Shit, if I was God, I'd let niggas come to church and wear whatever made them feel comfortable. Then again, I lied. Because if I was God and a nigga wear some shit that I don't like the church, I'm going to be mad. Like, Brother Cletus, why is you wearing them crocodile skin shoes and that Steve Harvey suit for the fifth Sunday in a row? Okay, where are you going with this? So it was getting towards the end of the sermon, right? Right. And I know it's getting towards the end because it's getting all riled up. Right. And then he just, like, starts, like... Harmonizing all his words like just like okay, nigga, this. nigga, finish the story. And then Pastor Boy can shot himself in the foot. He, he what? He shot himself in the foot. It was the end of the sermon, and he quoted Psalms 121, 7 through 8. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. I don't see the correlation. So right after he finishes, he pulls out a pistol and everyone gasps. And then he pulls the pistol back and reassures that everyone the pistol only has blanks inside of it. And then he aims the pistol 
ride his foot, and then boom, he has all in his foot. You just made this up. This didn't happen. Why would I make something up about someone shooting themselves? So what did y'all do after he shot himself? We got up and left. That's it? Yeah. Sounds pretty anticlimactic to me. You thought we was gonna wait on the ambulance and then continue on I mean, with the service? Yeah, you acting like it's far fetched based off the story. I mean, Pastor Boykin shooting himself wasn't even the funniest part. When me and my grandma got in the car, tell me why her old ass gonna ask me, what did I learn from the sermon? Huh? <laughs> Try to act like this man didn't just turn his foot into a sacrificial lamb. <laughs> you stupid. No, stupid is thinking that blanks aren't deadly at point blank range. Okay, I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah. I used to love going to church. For real? Yeah. At one point in time. What changed? I think I just grew up. Anyways, when we got back to my house after church, my grandma gonna ask me if I'm coming back to church next Sunday. And what'd you say? Hell yeah, I'm coming back to ch church right here, but I ain't speaking to the choir. Ask anybody about me, never say that I'm a liar. Cause the truth ain't free, yeah, it come with a cost. Dang. Niggas wanna be me, me like my last name false. Yeah, these shoes pretty pricey, but my pants from the Ross. Dang. Got a corny to the corner where all of my niggas lost. Yeah. Red lace in they face and they life to what was taught. Yeah. And I oughta be considerate of the life that I was bought. Cause that could have been me or some shit. They say I'm pathetic. And then I tell them all, chill, that ain't empathetic. Yeah, I bet on myself and I still don't regret it Niggas steal my metaphors like I never said it That's like proposing to your girl at somebody's wedding That's like owing somebody money and spending it reckless That's like buying stupid shit when you could've invested F3 for life, baby, so heaven's Armageddon This party is just about over here in a few hours And you're gonna have to deal with yourself You're gonna have to deal with yourself for where you're at with God And so far, it's not looking too good it's not looking too good for you, sinner. Oh yeah, you've been partying way too much. Way too much alcohol, way too much beef. Uh, you probably haven't gotten laid yet. I'd say hey, watch your language.